Good morning, my friends. It is time for us once again to get our minds aligned with the truth of God. Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. My name is Kerry Green. I want to ask you to begin your consideration of what you need to do to get your mind aligned with this question. Have you ever had a time where your spirit failed you? And I guess what I'm trying to describe is those situations where you have been under such pressure or such a trying situation for so long that you're just weary. You feel that you're about to fail. You're just going to crash and burn. Whatever phrase you want to use to describe the emotion and the spiritual strain that that kind of a situation puts on you. I liken it to some type of, you know, exhausting exercise. Say you've been running and you're, you've got to keep running and you can't stop. And there comes a point where your body is just ready to fall and your spirit within you is just exhausted. That's one of the places that we find the author in Psalm 143 and the author is David. Now, if you remember David's life, he had many situations where he was not only in a spiritual or an emotional kind of exhaustion, but he was also in actual physical danger many times because David was a warrior. He was a warrior king. And there are many times when he experienced this kind of thing. And he says in Psalm 145, beginning in verse 7, Answer me quickly, O Lord. My spirit fails. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. You see, David is afraid he's going to actually die in this situation. That's what he means when he says those who go down to the pit. He's in a very trying and frustrating time, it sounds like, for him. Have you ever been there? You've been in that place where you're so weary, so worn out, so tired, you really just don't know what's going to happen, and you feel like it might be the worst. Well, let's continue reading. David says, Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, for in you I trust. Make me know the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Oh, friends, there's some beautiful things in there, but there's also some very practical things. Let's walk through it. He starts out, Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love. Now, what he's asking for there is for the Lord to take control of his mind and his thoughts the moment he wakes up. Do you hear that? He says, let me hear you in the morning of your steadfast love. You see, he's wanting to be reminded. He's wanting God to whisper to his spirit, to his mind as he's waking that he is greatly loved. Can you relate to that? Do you have a time in your life where you've needed that every morning? My friends, it is okay to pray for that sort of thing, for God to whisper his love to us in the mornings as we arise so that we start the day with our mind in a positive place, an encouraging place, knowing that the God of the universe cares for us. And in the last part of verse number Actually, it's right in the middle where he says, for in you, I trust. You see, despite David's weary state, he continued to trust in the Lord. He continued to exhort himself, you might say, to be in a trusting place. Then he makes another request. He says, make me know the way I should go. This is usually what we run to right away in our prayers. We're asking God for direction, and there's nothing wrong with that. Boy, I can tell you, there's many times in my life where I've needed the Lord's direction. He's saying, Lord, show me, show me the way I should go. Because to you, I lift up my soul. I just picture him kind of holding his own soul in his hands upward to the sky and saying, God, this is me. This is all of me. And I'm weary and I'm worn and I need your help. Friends, I know life is that way sometimes, isn't it? I want to encourage you to pray this prayer for yourself to the Lord today. Enable him to lift up your soul for you and share the morning mindset with someone else. I'd appreciate it. Join me again tomorrow.